Hello and welcome to the JavaScript uh, tutorial series. In this first tutorial, we will be learning how to write a print statement or print a message to the screen in our web browser using JavaScript code. Um, and there's a few things that we'll need firstly to do that. Firstly, I'm using Notepad++ to write my code and that's a free program that you can uh, download. I'm using it on Windows at the moment. Uh, so if you want to use Notepad++, you can go to notepad-plus-plus.org and you can download it there. You can also use something like Sublime Text, um, which is another good program as well for editing, writing and editing code. And that's free to try and then you can um, buy a full version of that as well. Um, but I'll be using Notepad++. Otherwise, you can just use plain old Notepad or any text editor on any uh, operating system, but I would recommend using something like Notepad++ or Sublime Text so that you can get all of this nice syntax highlighting and colors and indentation, line numbering, all of those features. Um, and it's easy to save it and arrange your files in a range of um, file formats or extensions such as JavaScript, HTML, PHP, um, Python, etc. Okay, so I'll go back to Notepad++. I've got a blank document here, a new file, nothing in it yet. Um, so I'll go to firstly save it as a HTML file. So we'll be working with uh, HTML and JavaScript um, to create web, uh, web pages and I'll be demonstrating or testing them in the Google Chrome browser. You can use whatever browser you like. I'd recommend something like Chrome or Firefox, um, but we'll be using Notepad++ and Chrome. Okay, so um, if you haven't uh, used HTML before or you haven't learned how to write HTML code, I would strongly recommend learning HTML first. So go and check out some other videos on HTML, some other tutorials. Um, W3Schools, that website, is a really good resource for learning how to write HTML code and build your own web pages. And it's actually pretty easy to get started in that. Um, it's pretty easy to start writing your own web pages in HTML. And then I'll also recommend using CSS or learning CSS. So that's a little bit of a prerequisite for um, this JavaScript series. Anyway, to get started, I'll click on File and Save As, and I'll find my folder. I'm going to save all my code in, all my files. Okay, need to change Save As type. We need to change that to a HTML file. So it adds the .html extension, and I'll call this one. Oops, one fresh. Print statement. This is the first thing we'll be learning. Okay, so it ends in .html and click on save. Alright, I'm just going to quickly set up the HTML document. Um, some of this stuff you can leave out. You can have just a uh, plain old HTML template like this. So you've got HTML tag, you've got head, section, and then, whoops, don't want to close it off. Got your head section, two head tags, and then you might have the body section. And close that off, and then end with forward slash HTML. Um, but I'm going to follow good practice and set this up the way it should be. So I'm going to add doc type it's HTML. I'm going to add HTML language is English. Uh, Leave the head section as is. I'll add some information about the encoding that we're using, which is UTF UTF eight. UTF eight. Um, I'll also add a title. So we can just call this uh, JavaScript. Print statement. Okay. I think that's all I need to do right now. Okay, so we've got 
the head section here. All right, all of that. There is our head section, and down here we have our body section where we'll put the content um, that would display on our page. But we can have JavaScript running up here in the head section, um, and that will also display on our page. So make a little bit of room there. To start writing our JavaScript code, we first need to use the script tag. So script type equals text slash JavaScript. And then I'll close off that script tag. All right. Now, if you've done any programming before in languages such as Python or uh, C++, Java, Visual Basic, PHP, anything like that. There's a number of different ways that you can use a print statement. And a print statement is basically just um, displaying a message on the screen. So when you learn a new programming language, usually the first thing that you'll learn is how to print a message to the screen. And in something like Python, it might be uh, print and then in brackets and quotation marks the message that you want, like hello world. But in JavaScript, when we're working with a uh, web page, it's document.write, and then in brackets and quotation marks, the message that you want to display on the screen. So, hello world, for example. Close off those quotation marks and parentheses. And then we need to end each line in our JavaScript code. When we're using statements, we need to end it off with a semicolon. Okay, so here we have our object, which is the document. So what will be displayed, a whole web page. And we have a method, which is the write method. So the write method will be used to write or print this hello world message into our document. Okay, now before we test that out in Chrome, I want to show you how to write comments in JavaScript. Now, in any programming language, it's good practice to write comments that explain what each part of your program is actually doing. So if you have a function uh, or you know a few lines of code that are um, doing something, then it's good to have some comments that just explain exactly what it's doing. Okay? So in JavaScript, it's a double forward slash to write a one-line comment. So this is a comment, okay, and it could actually explain what's happening below. So, um, print a message to the screen, okay. That is for a single line comment. If you want to have comments going over multiple lines, you can use the multi line comment, which starts with a forward slash and star. This is a multi line comment. And then you end it with star forward slash. So everything inside there, everything here is a comment. And it won't actually display on your web page. Um, it, will, it won't be visible on your web page. It will just be here in the code um, as a little description saying what your program is doing. And you could use it at the top of your program to say maybe the date that it was written on and who the author was, that kind of thing. But I'm just going to have a comment here that explains what's happening below. Okay, so we can save that. We'll control S and run and launch in Chrome browser. Okay, and there we go. So we've got our little hello world message here in our browser, in our document. Okay, and that is um, basically how you set up a HTML file for JavaScript, how you start writing your JavaScript code, and how to print a message to the screen. So thanks for watching the first tutorial. In our next tutorial, we'll be looking at variables in JavaScript. Thanks for watching.